Okay, boys, we are queuing Comp Stomp Brawl because we are farming up some honor, farming up some Valor Stones, making some gains. But yes, I did see the class tuning stuff, and we're going to get right down to business because people are going to be asking me a lot about this today. I don't mind talking about it. The uh, bad news is Fury got nerfed. The good news is, in my opinion, it's it's probably going to be just fine. I mean, just fine. Let me uh, hop out of this, but so the main thing is Odin's Fury is getting nerfed by 20%. Dragon's Roar is getting nerfed, or Thunderous Roar is getting nerfed by uh, 15%. And then what are auto attacks? Th that damage is getting nerfed by 12%. Not really that big of a deal, if you ask me. And if you guys want to join uh, Comp Stomp Brawl, uh, just as a group, just queue it up and then um, request off of me. No, I know, you never like to see number go down, but guys, checking the calendar, War Within has been out in early access for about a week, so you can absolutely expect uh, expect nerfs to happen. So yeah, if you guys want to do Comps on Brawl, just request off me, but if not, I'm just going to queue it up. Um, you can absolutely expect nerfs, and when you're looking at things that are likely to be nerfed, uh, looking at burst AoE one-shot stuff is likely going to be a target for nerfs and so when they're looking at fury they're like whoa odin's fury is doing some pretty big damage and thunderous roar is doing some pretty big damage i'm not sure about this auto attack thing but whatever um those are things that i feel like are kind of expected to be tuned right um 20 and 15 is kind of a big number but truly i'm not that worried about it man i'm not really that worried about it fury still does like nice single target pressure oops oh nuts I thought somebody uh, challenged me to a duel. Whatever, we be fine. I, I, you know, this is this is the kind of thing where it's just not like a huge deal. I think our single target pressure is still going to be good. Uh, I just think that yeah, our our burst and our AOE burst in particular are just going to be nerfed a little bit. But I absolutely think Fury is still going to hit hard when you pop all your cooldowns. And if you wanted to, you could go crazy and you could play something that's not Odin's Fury if you wanted to. You could just go all in with like the uh, like Reckless Abandon um, build, which, which we're already doing, but then you could lean into that even more by using the uh, like Recklessness. Um, gives you Avatar procs, and you could do like Anger Management if you wanted to. Um, but I, I still think that if you played the exact build that we're currently playing, which is like Odin's Fury, you're playing um, the, the Avatar gives you Odin's Fury activation, and you're playing, uh, you know, Thunderous Roar, I think that's still going to be good. It's just going to be a little worse, right? So, no, I don't think that we need to panic. Uh, I think it's going to be fine. And it's also, like, a couple layers of this. One, it's probably fine. Two, relatively expected to see class changes in general early on in the expansion. Three, relatively expected to see burst AoE one-shots kind of get tuned down a little bit, right? So, I think Fury is going to be fine in particular. Um, but, if you want to, we can go all the way back up. Oh, this is arm. Sorry. No, you're right. Auto attack damage no longer decreased by an additional 12%. Why did I read that completely backwards? Why did I read that completely backwards? Not only is Fury auto attack damage not nerfed, Arms auto attack damage is buffed. Okay. That's cool. Sure. And maybe that means more rage and more damage for Arms. Great. You'll get more gear when offset. It'll be just fine. It'll be just fine. So, let's scroll all the way up. And let's see what the heck's going on here. So, um, Frost Strike damage has been reduced. Does not apply to PvP. Obliterate damage has been reduced. Does not apply to PvP. Do you guys want to know the PvE stuff? Do we care? Um, <clears throat> Icy Death Torrent, whatever the heck that is, damage is reduced. And Glacial Advance damage reduced. All right, we're going to go run to Stables because we are currently defending the Arathi Basin from uh, the Terminator army right now. Where do you get the best PvP gear? I got a brand spanking new video for you. It's just honor gear right now. That's all you gotta do. Just, just get your honor set. You're good to go. Easy peasy, but today's video that talks about honor gear and how to get gold from honor is maybe right up your alley. Balance, nerfing star surge. Do we care about this stuff? I mean, it could, if this applies to PvP, it still kind of matters, right? So, yeah, so star surge damage increased, starfall damage increased, umbral intensity. Increase the damage of Wrath. Looks like that's uh, a little bit nerfed, but they're kind of balancing it out. And Harmony of the Heavens is buffed. Feral, 
Blood Talons and Lion Strength now increase all the damage of Rampant Ferocity. And so, Evoker damage buffs are kind of insane. Am I missing something here? Thanks, Swifty Man. Big flex for the two gifted subs, man. Appreciate it, dude. Um, Devastation damage buffs is kind of like, huh? Are things happening to me right now? They capped on me. Unbelievable. Let me let me let me quickly uh, mitigate this situation here. Um, damage of all spells increased by six percent. Firestorm damage increased. Firestorm duration. This is I, I'm not. I, whenever I do PvP, the Evokers are just casting blue stuff at, on me, so maybe that's different. Not familiar with all that. I need to move this over here so I can just check my check my base every once in a while. And okay, Kuden Big Flex for you, man, as well. Thank you, dude. Yeah, I don't know. What the heck, man? And then Hunter. Vicious Hunt damage increase for BM. Vicious Hunt damage increase for survival. This base. I got I gotta keep my eye on these guys, man. Um How the Pack Critical Strike damage bonus increase for BM and survival. Furious Assault damage bonus increase for survival. Cold the herd damage over time increase for survival. I mean that's 30% to 60% is kind of a lot. Living Bomb damage increased. Pyroblast damage increased. Flame Strike damage increased. Sheesh, man. Frostfire Bolt damage increased for fire. So maybe fire needed some love. Is that what's going on here? Uh, Burden of Power can no longer be double dipped by spell queuing. Interesting. Arcane Phoenix damage dealt reduced for Arcane. Arcane Soul base duration reduced. Okay, so some Sun Fury Mage nerfs. Rep Paladin Mastery. Um, is nerfed a little bit, and all holy spell damage increased by 5% for just everybody. So, Oracle Discipline Pri Priest Preventative Measures now increases Power Word Shields absorbed by 40% was 25. Does not apply to PvP, okay. So some non-PvP stuff there. I hope this makes sense to you Priest guys. I just mostly want to let you guys know that Fury was going to be fine. And Brennabert, big flex for it, man. Thank you, dude. Did they triple Fury Haste? or can I Triple Fury Haste? What the heck? What the heck? They did not do that. Um, let's see. Atonement healing increased outside raid? Huh? Does not apply to PvP. Fix an issue where atonement critical healing was not increased by the correct amount outside of raid. Okay. What's this outside of raid business? Is that like a mechanic for that? Atonement? Shadow word pain and purge of wicked damage increased by 20%. Oh, snap. Void Weaver Shadow Freeze of Void Blast damage increased by 20%. Uh oh. Oh dear. So Shaman Elemental Mastery overloads bonus to all elemental and physical damage increased by 35%. Wow. Oh, they're buffing Ellie Shaman damage? All, okay, all damage reduced by 6%. And then Stormbringer. Tempest now deals 65% of its damage to enemies near its primary target was 50, so that's a buff. What the heck's going on here? Hey! Get off my base. Yeah, so your Odin's Fury damage is going to be a little bit worse. I don't think that's actually going to stop us from kicking butt, right? Your burst AoE is a little worse, but I think it'll be alright. Back it up. It's my base. The heck. What the heck? Alright, uh, let's see. Tempest now deals reduced damage beyond 5 targets. Tremor damage increased by 8, or sorry, 10%, and then Searing Volley damage increased by 80%. 80% is kind of a lot. Um, and then Destruction, all ability damage increased by 5% in PvP. Or PvE. I guess. PvP stuff. Uh, let's see. Uh, Druid Rip and Rake damage increased by 15%. Oof. Lunar Calling now increases Starfire damage by 50, which was 65, so that's a bit of a nerf ski to balance. Umbra Balance now increased the damage of Wrath and Starfire by 40, was 75, so that's a bit of a nerf too, I guess. Barrel's Taste for Blood damage increased the Ferocious Bite during Tiger's Fury, decreased by 50%, right? So, something was causing Ferocious Bite to hit as hard as, like, Demolish, right? So, and then Saber Jaws effective is now reduced. So, so, some nerfs maybe to their burst and then buffs to their dots. That's kind of a PvP thing they tend to do. Um, Mage's Ice Lance... Damage has increased by 45% PvP, but it was 75, so that's a nerf. Monk, Manifestation is now half as effective in PvP. Brewmaster, who plays Brewmaster in PvP? Hopefully nobody. She burst damage got reduced. Maybe it was broken. Peaceweaver now reduced the cooldown of revival by 33%. It was 50. 
Life Cocoon is now 30% more effective in PvP combat, and Enveloping Mist can no longer be dispelled. That's kind of a big deal, right? Enveloping Mist can't be dispelled at all? Wasn't that, wasn't that kind of a big deal? Holy Priest Prayer of Mending healing increased by 65% in PvP is kind of wild. Lava Lash damage increased by 60%. Storm Strike and Wind Strike damage increased by 60%. Wind Fury attack damage increased by 60%. So Lava Lash, Storm Strike, and Wind Fury all got buffed by 60% for Enhancement Shaman. What the heck? Bajroids log in. And then Warrior, like we talked about, Thunderous Roar damage reduced by 15%, Odin's Fury damage reduced by 20%, and then Arm's Auto Attack damage is no longer nerfed. So again, I am not looking at these changes and quaking in my boots. Like you can honestly look at these changes and be like, oh, okay, that's neat and then just go on with your life because it's the beginning of the expansion and things are gonna change anyway. But specifically for my Fury Warrior brethren, I'm, you know, you never like to get nerfed. You never like to see number go down. But I mean, like, I think that charging in, popping all this, and going ham, I mean, you're still gonna do some damage, man. You know? You're still gonna pump. It's just gonna be, what, 20% less effective. So instead of doing, you know, 200, 33 million damage, it's gonna be like 2 million damage. So, it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be alright. You take it, you take a little bit of numbers off these numbers and you're still pumping, right? And that's just during your burst. Your your consistent pressure and stuff is still gonna be there, so. And you know what? If if for some reason it makes Fury just unplayably bad, maybe they'll maybe they'll buff it. Maybe they'll buff it. But I, I ain't stressing. I ain't stressing. I think it's gonna be just fine.